You're okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's very good. Wait, me, Andy, ha? Okay, so let us have this one. Okay, let us have the extra listening 6.3. This is extra. So when you say extra, because we already done with our flyer. So that's why let us move to extra, okay? We'll share it now. We will only have one lesson today. Okay, wait. Okay, so let us have this one. Oh, this answer already. Okay, so let us move this. Okay, so lesson about the, the, the camping holiday. Okay, ready? Ready, teacher. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Mom! Miss Wright at school is going to take some of us on a camping holiday. Can I go? For how long? It's just for three days. Oh, I see. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. When is this holiday? She's going to leave on June 6th and come back home on the 9th. Hmm. I must write that in my diary. All right. And where will you camp? On a farm. It's called Burley Farm. That's B-U-R-L-E-Y. Miss Wright wrote it on the board. Oh, I know. It's near the forest. We went there on holiday once. Do you remember? No. You were very little. But I have a few more questions. Okay. How many children are going to go? Only ten children, and there will be two teachers with us. That's okay, isn't it? Yes. What do you have to take with you? We don't need to take any tents. The teachers will bring them, but I will have to take a rucksack to carry things in. Okay. And what are you going to do on this holiday? Sports? Learn about the farm animals there? No. We're going to learn about insects. We're going to watch them, draw them, and take pictures of them. That sounds interesting. Perhaps I'll come too. Mom, you can't. You're too big. Now listen to part two again. When is this holiday? She's going to leave on June 6th and come back home on the 9th. Hmm. I must write that in my diary. All right. And where will you camp? On a farm. It's called Burley Farm. That's B-U-R-L-E-Y. Miss Wright wrote it on the board. Oh, I know. It's near the forest. We went there on holiday once. Do you remember? No. You were very little. But I have a few more questions. Okay. How many children are going to go? Only ten children, and there will be two teachers with us. That's okay, isn't it? Yes. What do you have to take with you? We don't need to take any tents. The teachers will bring them, but I will have to take a rucksack to carry things in. Okay. And what are you going to do on this holiday? Sports? Learn about the farm animals there? No, we're going to learn about insects. We're going to watch them, draw them, and take pictures of them. That sounds interesting. Perhaps I'll come too. Mom, you can't. You're too big. That is the end of part two. Okay, so let us have here. 
So holiday starts on June. And what's the place, Andy? It is Braley. Very good, Andy boy. Number of children? There are 10. And you must take a rucksack with you. And you will learn about insect. Insect. You will learn about insect. Hey, now draw them. Look at them. You draw the insect and look at the insect. Okay, so this one. So you have here and the Fred works in the town. He has to take food to different places in the town. Where does he take each of these things? Where? Okay, please listen. Part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Fred works in the town. He has to take food to different places in the town. Where does he take each thing? Fred, is the truck outside? You've got all this food to take today. Yes, I'm going to leave in a minute. I'll take these biscuits to the circus first. It's not far away. Perhaps I'll see some lions and tigers there. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Drive very carefully. There's a lot of traffic today. I know. I'll take that box of pizzas next. But where must I take it? Oh, I remember. They're for the man who works at the factory. The one in Salt Street. Where is that? The map's in the back of the truck. Okay. And then I'll take these vegetables to Mrs. Cook. She lives in an apartment on that busy corner in town. You know, the one opposite the hospital. I'll have to carry them up a lot of stairs. The lift there doesn't work. Oh, dear. And where must you take this? Have you written all this down? Yes. The big bag of flour? Oh, that's for Mr. Card at the old science museum. He likes making bread, so he uses a lot of it each month. He phoned me yesterday. He said he needs it this afternoon. Can you make bread, Lucy? No, I've never tried. I just buy mine. Now, who's this for? What? This big box of chocolates. Someone's going to be very happy to get this. Oh, here's the address. I've got to take it to the airport. Oh, dear. That's a long way away. Well, I can have my lunch there, too, in the restaurant. That's a good idea, Fred. And here's the last box. Oh, yes, the pineapple jam. I mustn't drop that. The glass will break, and it took hours to make it. That's for Mrs. Hyde at the chemist's. It's her favorite, so she buys a lot of it. Now, is there anything else to take today, Lucy? No, that's everything. Good. Now listen to part three again. Drive very carefully. There's a lot of traffic today. I know. I'll take that box of pizzas next. But where must I take it? Oh, I remember. They're for the man who works at the factory. The one in Salt Street. Where is that? The map's in the back of the truck. Okay. And then I'll take these vegetables to Mrs. Cook. She lives in an apartment on that busy corner in town. You know, the one opposite the hospital. I'll have to carry them up a lot of stairs. The lift there doesn't work. Oh, dear. And where must you take this? 
Have you written all this down? Yes. The big bag of flour? Oh, that's for Mr. Card at the old science museum. He likes making bread, so he uses a lot of it each month. He phoned me yesterday. He said he needs it this afternoon. Can you make bread, Lucy? No, I've never tried. I just buy mine. Now, who's this for? What? This big box of chocolates. Someone's going to be very happy to get this. Oh, here's the address. I've got to take it to the airport. Oh, dear. That's a long way away. Well, I can have my lunch there, too, in the restaurant. That's a good idea, Fred. And here's the last box. Oh, yes, the pineapple jam. I mustn't drop that. The glass will break, and it took hours to make it. That's for Mrs. Hyde at the chemist's. It's her favorite, so she buys a lot of it. Now, is there anything else to take today, Lucy? No, that's everything. Good. That is the end of part three. Okay, so first is biscuits, second is pineapple jam, oh, pizza letter G, correct, and B, next is vegetable, next is oh, letter A, flour, next is letter B, next is letter F. Okay, you've got the re correct answer. Okay, this one and this. You listen and please tell me about Jack. You ready? Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where does Jack want to go on his birthday? Jack, would you like to have a picnic on your birthday in the countryside? That's a great idea, Mum, but it might be a cold day. Can we go to the cinema and see a film? I'd like to do that. All right. Or you can go to the sports centre that day with your friends. No, I don't want to have my party there. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Which film do they choose? There are lots of great films to see this week. It's difficult to choose. I'd like to see the one about rockets in space. That sounds exciting. Oh no, I think the one about the big fire and all the firemen is better. But some of your friends might be afraid. There's one about the dinosaurs. What do you think? Yes, that's the best idea. 2. When will Jack see the film? Can we go on Monday after school? That's the day of my birthday, so I'd like that the best. That will be difficult because Dad's got to work that evening. Let's have a small party at home that day. We can see your film the day before that, on Sunday, if you like. OK. And can I invite some friends here on Saturday too? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll ask Dad first. I think we're going to go out that afternoon. OK.
Okay, Andy? So, number one. Which film do they choose? Okay, it's letter B. When will Jack see the film? Letter B again. Okay, so three. Please continue. Three. What time must Jack's friends come to his house? I'll tell my friends at school tomorrow to come to my house first. What time should they arrive here? Well, let's look in the newspaper to find out about the film first. Here it is. It starts at a quarter past five. So shall I tell them to come at quarter to five? Let's say half past four, because it'll take us about 35 minutes to get there. All right. Four. How will they buy the cinema tickets? You can get cinema tickets on the computer now, Mum. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Wow, that's good. But I'll phone the cinema to buy them this time. I want to speak to the woman there. OK, or we can buy the tickets at the cinema. There won't be too many people there, will there? I don't want to do that, Jack. Five. How will they get to the cinema? Are we going to walk to the cinema, like last time? Um, I think it's too far. You were tired, remember? But there are too many of us to drive there in Dad's car. Well, in a big taxi, then. Well, that's quite expensive, but uh, OK, we'll do that. It's going to be fun. I love birthdays. <laughs> Okay, so what time must Jack friends come to his house? You said 4.30. Very good. Next, how will they buy the cinema tickets? Letter B. And how will they get to the cinema? Oh, letter C. Yay, very good, Annie. Okay, so this one, Andy, we will not color that one. Let's move to the next. Okay, let us do the next listening for a seven point one now. Okay. Dai. Dai. Basig nagsuka si Cooper tanawa sa. Okay, here. 7.1 listening. Okay. Okay, Andy, let's move to the next. Again, extra. 7.1. Oh, there's an answer already with this one. Why there's an answer? Okay, next one, the cooking lesson. Okay, ready? Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Now, everyone, listen carefully. Tomorrow, Again, we are going to cook not. something together. Oh, good. What do we need to bring? Please bring a big bowl. Okay. <laughs> Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. I want you to bring some other things from home. Please write them on a piece of paper now. Do we have to bring flour, miss? No, you don't. We already have some. But I want you to bring sugar, butter, and eggs. Okay, miss. What are we going to cook? They're called scones. They are a kind of cake. Do you spell that S-C-O-N?
N E S. Yes, that's right. How many scones are we going to make? There will be enough to make forty-eight, so everyone can take some home. How long does it take to cook them? An hour? No, it only takes ten minutes. Are they nice, Miss? Oh yes, they're lovely when they're warm. You can eat them with jam. Now listen to part two again. I want you to bring some other things from home. Please write them on a piece of paper now. Do we have to bring flour, Miss? No, you don't. We already have some. But I want you to bring sugar, butter, and eggs. Okay, Miss. What are we going to cook? They're called scones. They are a kind of cake. Do you spell that? S C O N E S. Yes, that's right. How many scones are we going to make? There will be enough to make forty-eight, so everyone can take some home. How long does it take to cook them? An hour? No, it only takes ten minutes. Are they nice, Miss? Oh yes, they're lovely when they're warm. You can eat them with jam. That is the end of part two. Okay. Okay, so we have Cooking lesson, don't forget to bring the big ball and bring some sugar. Very good. And the name of the cakes, it's ones, cons. Number of cakes, 48. Cooking time, 10 minutes and eat them with a jam. Very good, Andy boy. Okay, next one, this. You listen, where did people find these things okay this one the butterfly the drum diary the rock and the plate where did you find it a lesson part three listen and look there is one example mr west works in a museum sometimes people give interesting things to the museum where did the people find these things? Where did you get all these interesting things, Mr. West? Well, people found them in all kinds of different places. Look at these butterflies. They're beautiful, aren't they? A man caught them in the jungle 50 years ago. He brought them to our city and gave them to us. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This looks very old. Yes, it is. Last year, a woman gave it to us. It was her grandfather's diary. He was a famous actor, so we were very happy to have it in the museum. She found it in an old suitcase in his house. We have a beautiful old plate in the museum, too. A man was working in his garden when he found it under some leaves. He took it to a police station, and the police gave it to us. Wow, it's lovely. That's big. The drum? Yes. Perhaps it's the biggest in the world. Someone found it in the basement of an old college and gave it to us. A lot of people came to see it, but they can't play it. And what's the oldest thing in the museum? That's a good question, Sarah. It's this rock. It's a strange color, isn't it? A boy brought it to me and said, You can have this. It comes from the moon, I think. <laughs> 
He was wrong because it comes from the bottom of the sea, but it's very interesting, and students and teachers of science come here to look at it. What's your favorite thing in the museum, Mr. West? It's this box. It's full of gold. Two hundred years ago, some pirates found it in a cave on an island. They brought it to London and sold it. And now it's in this museum. Wow. Now listen to part three again. This looks very old. Yes, it is. Last year, a woman gave it to us. It was her grandfather's diary. He was a famous actor, so we were very happy to have it in the museum. She found it in an old suitcase in his house. We have a beautiful old plate in the museum, too. A man was working in his garden when he found it under some leaves. He took it to a police station, and the police gave it to us. Wow, it's lovely. That's big. The drum? Yes. Perhaps it's the biggest in the world. Someone found it in the basement of an old college and gave it to us. A lot of people came to see it, but they can't play it. And what's the oldest thing in the museum? That's a good question, Sarah. It's this rock. It's a strange color, isn't it? A boy brought it to me and said, You can have this. It comes from the moon, I think. <laughs> he was wrong because it comes from the bottom of the sea. But it's very interesting, and students and teachers of science come here to look at it. What's your favorite thing in the museum, Mr. West? It's this box. It's full of gold. Two hundred years ago, some pirates found it in a cave on an island. They brought it to London and sold it. And now it's in this museum. Wow. That is the end of part three. Okay. Okay, Andy. Okay, now. Okay, where is the answer? Oh, I cannot see. Okay, so let's I see correct diary. It's in the back. Correct. Next is oh, correct letter A. Next is letter E and letter B and letter G. Wow, very good. Correct, Andy. Very good, Andy boy. Okay, so Andy. We do not have enough time. So, Teacher Anne will say goodbye. Your answer is still very good today. Yay! Okay, Andy. Thank you so much. And Teacher Anne will say goodbye now. Okay? Okay, thank you. I will see you on when? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher.